This is a quick overview of how astronomers deduce stellar properties. First, let's deduce how far a star is. The problem is that while we know that things look fainter the farther they are, we don't know what the power output of a star really is. So we need an independent way to deduce distance. Stellar parallax is the apparent motion of a nearby star relative to farther away stars due to the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. As the Earth orbits, its vantage point changes towards the nearby star. The greater the apparent motion, the closer the star is. Next, deducing stellar temperatures, we use the color of the star. The wavelength of maximum emission is inversely proportional to the surface temperature. Blue stars are hot, red stars are cool. Next, consider the size of the star. The larger the star in surface area, the brighter it is. Hence, between two stars of the same surface temperature, the bigger one will be brighter. In turn, between two stars of the same brightness, the cooler one must be larger to compensate for its lesser per area output. Red giants can be brighter because they are larger. Deducing the mass of stars comes from their gravitational effect. This is possible if the star is not alone, but rather part of a multi-star system. We can detect the orbit of the star around a common center of mass using such things as astrometry, or the Doppler effect. Remember that the Doppler effect is not about the color of the star. Rather, it is only a shift in the position of the spectral lines observed in its spectrum.